Hey World Changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you all feel calm and confident when it is time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we will practice a specific question type. Now, these videos, they are short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And at the end of this video, if you know that you need more help with a specific skill, I will point you in the right direction to help you make math your jam. The focus for this week is drum roll. Multi-select. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fourth grade, here's your problem this week and you know what to do. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. Then when you're ready, come on back and let's check your work. All right, fourth grade, welcome back. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. It says, Jaquan is 28 years old. Jaquan is four times older. Usually in this case, that would be four times older than his son, Chase. Select all of the following equations to represent the situation. So equations means that we have an equal sign present, which if you look at all of the answer choices, there is an equal sign. So those are definitely equations there. We know that Jaquan, we've got somebody named Jaquan, and he is 28 years old. He has a son named Chase and we are not sure how old Chase is. So that's why the C that you see in all of this answer choices represents the age that Chase is. Okay, C stands for Chase in this case. We do know though that, we do know though, we do know though, that Jaquan is four times older than Chase. So if I were to think about that, I would say that Jaquan is four, times older than Chase, right? Jaquan is four times older than Chase. So to write this in an equation would be that Jaquan equals four times older than Chase. With me, Jaquan is four times the amount that Chase is. Now, while we don't know how old Chase is, we do know how old Jaquan is. How old is Jaquan? 28, right? So let's plug that in. Jaquan is 28, which is four times older than Chase. Okay, and we don't even really have to figure out how old Chase is, but four times what equals 28? Four times seven, right? So in this case, Chase would be seven. Let's go over to our equations now and see which ones are being represented there. Okay, so in the first one we have four times C equals 28. If we plug in seven there, would it make sense? Four times how old Chase is is 28. Four times seven, is that 28? Yes. So should we keep this one or eliminate it? Let's keep it, yeah. Okay, in the next one, we'll place our answer of seven right here, okay? Seven equals four times 28. Well, four times 28 is gonna be way larger than what? Seven, so those do not balance out. That is a false equation. So what should we do with this one? Should we keep it or eliminate? Let's eliminate it, yeah. That does not make sense. Okay, let's plug in the next one. So 28 equals seven times four. Seven times four equals 28. So does 28 equal 28? Yeah, so should we keep it or eliminate it? Let's keep that one. Okay, for the next one, let's plug in seven here. So does four on one side equal seven divided by 28? We had seven and we split it into 28. We would have something less than one, so that is not going to balance it out. That's a false equation, so what should we do with this one? Keep it or eliminate? 
Let's eliminate that one. It doesn't make sense. Okay, and now let's plug in 7 here for Chase again. 28 divided by 7, does that equal 4? Yes, it does. So should we keep this one or eliminate? Let's keep it, yes. So the answers for this one, we've got three. We've got the first one, the third one, and the last one are the answers for this one. So go ahead and make any changes that you need to onto your paper, write down any notes that you still need to, and when you're ready, let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you have got to be intentional about your practice. And you have to throw down your very best effort each and every time so you can get better. I believe in you and I will see you next time, world changers. Bye!